Ukraine's air defense shot down 11 ballistic and cruise missiles launched by Russia targeting Ukrainian capital Kyiv, according to the commander-in-chief of Ukraine's armed forces, Valery Zolizhny. Russian shelling in the Ukrainian city of Dnipro has killed at least one person and injured nine people, according to the region's governor, Seri Lasak. In a telegram statement, Lysak said shelling in Dnipro's Snelenkov district led to the death of one woman as well as the injury of an 11-year-old child and eight other people. He added that at least two houses in the Snelenkov district were completely destroyed by an attack while 30 sustained the damage. Russia's defense ministry has confirmed its forces hit Ukrainian air bases overnight, according to a report by Russian state news agency RIA Novosti. Earlier, Ukrainian officials said that Russia had struck targets across the country using dozens of missiles and drones. Alexander Sherba, Ukraine's former ambassador to Austria and current ambassador for strategic communications at the Foreign Affairs Ministry, says he was at his office when Russian missiles attacked Kyiv. In a tweet, he said the explosion felt real close seconds after the siren started wailing, around 16 kabooms, yet no destruction in Kyiv visible, seems all missiles were destroyed. History Illustrated is a weekly series of insightful perspectives that puts news events and current affairs into historical context using graphics generated with artificial intelligence. Russia's foreign minister Sergey Lavrov says that if Moscow's demands are not fulfilled in the UN brokered Black Sea Grain deal, the deal will no longer remain operational. Speaking at a briefing in Kenya, Lavrov said that less than 3% of the grain exported under the deal had reached the world's poorest countries and that Russia's requirements were not being fulfilled at all. Ukraine's Air Force says Russia fired ballistic missiles at Kyiv in the latest wave of daytime attacks on the Ukrainian capital. The enemy used missiles of a ballistic trajectory, preliminary Iskanders. There is a possibility that S-300 and S-400 missiles were also used, Air Force spokesman Yuri Enhad told Ukrainian TV. UK's Defence Ministry says Russia's use of smoke as a part of Russian Maskarovka, the Kremlin's mili- military deception tactics, has been ineffectual in the war in Ukraine. On 24th May 2023, Russia conducted a security exercise around the Crimea Bridge, which links the Russian city of Kursh to the occupied peninsula. This includes the creation of a smoke screen, partially masking the bridge, the ministry said in a tweet. However, in practice, Russian Maskarovka has generally been ineffectual in the Ukraine war, likely because of a lack of a strong central planning function and poor low-level function, battle discipline, the ministry added. Sounds of explosions and air raid sirens have been reported in Kyiv. It's all kicked off again. Mid-morning crashes and explosions outside UK's ambassador to Ukraine, Dame Melinda, Simone said in a tweet. Russia's interior ministry has put US Senator Lindsey Graham on a wanted list. Russian media have reported citing the ministry's database. In an edited video released by the Ukrainian president's office of Graham's meeting with Volodymyr Zelensky on Friday, Graham was shown saying the Russians are dying and then saying US support was the best money we've ever spent. After Russia criticized the remarks, Ukraine released released what it says is a full video of the meeting which showed the two remarks were not linked. Russia's investigative committee said on Sunday that it was opening a criminal investigation into Graham's comments. It did not specify what crime he was suspected of. Graham disputed Russian criticism of his support for Ukraine on Sunday, saying he had simply praised the spirit of Ukrainians in resisting a Russian invasion with assistance provided by Washington. Ukraine shot down 37 Russian cruise missiles and 29 drones overnight, the army says, a day after the heaviest barrage on the Ukrainian capital since Moscow's invasion. Valery Zelensky, 
commander-in-chief of Ukraine's armed forces, said on social media that a total of up to 40 missiles and around 35 drones had been launched, of which 37 and 29 respectively were downed. 